Welcome to my channel. This is Bruce the Boss and today's story Jedediah destroys, demolishes the women on The View as it pertains to the jab and jab mandate. But before we get into that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Your subscriptions go a long way with not only allowing me to produce more content, but beat the YouTube algorithm that's trying to suppress stories and or information in videos like this. Also like this video, comment on this video, and if you do subscribe, smash on that notification bell. Without further ado, let's play the clip. Scene. Okay, so why didn't you get it? Yeah, so my story is a little bit unique. I'll share that first before I get into those CDC numbers. But Remember, we have I only actually a have certain a medical... amount of time, Jed, if you want to get everything yeah, in. I have, right. So I want, to, I want to let people know why I'm not there. I have a medical exemption to the vaccine that's been written by my infectious disease vaccinated specialist in New York City that's been co-signed by three other doctors. I'm not a candidate for this vaccine. I also have sky-high, multi-tiered, multifaceted natural immunity, very, very high, that has also been proven, it has been shown, and it is substantiated by letters from these doctors. So for me personally, this vaccine poses a greater risk than a benefit. I'm also not a risk to any of you. I know there's been a lot of debate about that, but I have these doctors who've gone on record with that as well. So. My point about all of this is that I am not anti-vax. What I really want is for people to make these decisions for themselves. I want every one of you mm. to sit with your family members, to sit with your trusted doctors and to say, what is the best decision for me? However, I do oppose mandates. I oppose them on the fact that let's look at the science. This is a vaccine that was created to prevent severity of disease and to prevent hospitalizations. Now we can have a whole debate on that in itself, but the vaccine does not prevent you from getting COVID and does not prevent you from transmitting COVID. Oh my COVID. goodness. Now, we have that's seen that. not so. Come on. No, You've been at Fox TV you too don't long. Have to enjoy. You don't have to listen to me on that. You don't have to listen to me. You can listen to the director of the CDC. You can look at the CDC's website. <laughs> that is why masks were reinstated for people who were vaccinated because they said and they admitted they came out and said this for this delta variant transmission is going I, to be a thing for vaccinated and you know unvaccinated what, people so i'm not opposed to the vaccine you know what, but Jed? i am opposed to the mandate 762,000 people have died from covid including right. manny's in-laws and i just we've been friends a long time but i just uh, manny's parents i just don't understand why you would choose to prioritize your personal freedom over health and safety of others and so i just I'm i just for, i just so really again, don't think that we again, should allow sunny. this kind of misinformation again, um, on, again, on our sunny, website I am we've had this us you, we've had the United States Surgeon General debunk. Yes, I heard what he said. Everything that you've just said, and I, I just don't think no. we should we should so al allow this kind Surgeon of General misinformation on, all, on our air. I'm, Sonny, I'm really sorry, Sonny, my friend. First of all, I'm really sorry, Sonny, my friend. First of all, I would say to you as a friend, what I just said to you is, I am prioritizing my health, and people talk about the common over good. the health and safety you're not of, have of a common other people. Good if you're not prioritizing your own health. You have over the Surgeon health and General. safety. This should other sound people. very. So this should sound very familiar to you, Jed. This should sound very familiar to you. We got to go to break. And so I have to say, uh, thanks to Jed and Diane Wheeler, you follow can follow buy Jed's book, Dear Heart. So there you go. She pretty much destroyed the argument. Now she started off great. Here's an individual who may be allergic to some of the ingredients in the, um, in the Moderna and or Pfizer jabs. And I'm not too sure what the issue was with the Johnson Johnson. Was there a allergic reaction or should I say an allergy to one of their ingredients as well and or susceptibility to clots that though rare depending on her family history she may have either way she got three independent doctors to sign off on a medical exception saying that the jab would be more consequential to her than it would be beneficial given her medical situation not to mention she has natural immunity which i know those in the jab and the covid cult want to pretend is not a thing at least here in the united states but it is so i find that interesting and it's like the ladies completely ignored that part as well towards the end but you know they lost when you had sunny come on and you know respond with not facts but an appeal to an emotion which is a logical fallacy because she then just said okay i can't dispute her on the numbers because i don't know them, i don't have them but she's going against our propaganda and or our talking points so i'm just going to go with our biggest talking point that we have and that is over 722,000 americans have sort of come to it without being honest about who those individuals are because even the CDC, when doing a year-long study, concluded that at least, especially when it comes to hospitalization, the average age of those individuals, of those numbers, 
is 66. Not to mention the fact that, and I've shown this chart before, but they did a long year long study here in the United States and 95% of the individuals hospitalized have one of the following conditions, which mostly include the majority of hypertension, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, they're obese and are overweight and suffering potentially from type two diabetes. A lot of these are life, aside from age, lifestyle and dietary diseases, you know, conditions that result from a lifetime of bad behaviors, which does not, unfortunately it's on the rise, but does not represent the majority of Americans just yet. And so if you're not one of those categories, you're not at the same risk. And then let's not forget, and I did a video on this um, just recently, how they're calculating or adding to that death toll. Um, Cause if you saw what happened in New Zealand lately, a man was killed by gunfire and they listed him as a Modella virus death just because he also tested positive despite the fact that he was riddled with bullets. But I digress, go check that video out if you like. Another thing that they're ignoring and they are so ignoring the science is that she responded with the fact that you can still get the, you can get the jab and still catch it and still spread it. I also did a video on that. You can check that out. Rochelle Walensky, the director of the CDC, even came out back in August, although I think she just did it for the sake of saying we did it, all the while CNN and herself are burying that story as much as possible. They just did it to show, hey, we're not being completely intransparent. We're putting out there, we're, you know, it's on record. We're just making sure that you don't see it and we're not gonna highlight the fact that, especially with this Delta variant, the jab does not prevent infections in fact, they had to reverse their previous policy and say, you know what, you still need a mask even if you've been fully jabbed and we do recommend social distancing because we're still seeing high transmission rates. In fact, I also did a video on the fact that it was leaked back in July, but now really becoming public knowledge or common knowledge to anyone who's paying attention with the fact that the viral load is exactly the same between those who get the jab and those who don't. And then you even had the Lancet study recently come out and again, prove that the transmission rate between the fully jab and the unjab were virtually identical with a differential of anywhere between eight to 13%, which is again, statistically not much at all. So she pretty much proved the fact that she can get the jab and still spread it to other people. They're destroying the idea that you're doing it for some societal good. And we're seeing that play out. That's not even just theoretical. Look at all of these countries like Ireland, which is not this particular county in Ireland. I believe it was Waterford, Ireland, 99.7% fully jabbed. And yet they're seeing not just the highest rates they've ever had, but possibly one of the highest rates of daily infections in all of the world. You have the UK, which is over 86% one dose, 80% two doses and about 11 to 12% now booster shot. And yet again, they're seeing a rise in cases. They're seeing a new outbreak emerge. Singapore, well over 80% of the over 12 population fully jabbed, seeing an outbreak there. Vermont, probably the most jab state in the country of the United States. Of course, it's from um, Bernie Sanders country and their territory. And yet they're seeing a spike in cases. And then most recently, Berkeley University amongst this football team, massive outbreak despite fully vaccination amongst its football players. What was it over 40, 44 of their college football players tested positive? Uh, that's pretty much an outbreak of the whole team. And again, and yet fully jabbed. You can still get it, you can still spread it. She destroys their argument, but it's like they're also living in a different reality because they're in this cult of you have to get it or else. You know, we did it, we took the risk. Why don't you forget your freedoms? And it's nothing about facts, but we definitely have to push back against this. We have to unite against the tyranny that is taking place. Um, with facts, arm them with information, let them know we're not just individuals Googling things. We're actually researching, looking at the data. We're not just being told talking points on The View or Fox News or CNN and things like that. We're actually, a lot of us are doing the research ourselves, consulting with our medical professionals. And like Jedediah said, you really need to just be consulting with your own healthcare physician and do what's best 
for you because your situation and your condition is completely different than anyone else's. I'm not getting it and I won't comply uh, and that may cost me a job, but I'm liking my chances with how the mandate is playing out in the courts. But when my parents both said that they were considering it a couple of months ago, yeah, um, prior to the summer, I believe it was, I fully supported them. There was no ridicule. There was no criticism. I, no attempt whatsoever to try to talk them out. I fully support it. And that's, I think, what we're missing from the conversation ha being had around the world is that there's not enough respect being shown by the other side. Because I think most people who do not want to get the jab, one, are not hesitant and it's not based upon overwhelming number of fear. They're just like myself, just not getting it because the risk reward factor just doesn't make sense for them. And it does seem rushed at the end of the day, but I digress. They're don't, they don't really care if anyone else gets it for the most part. They just want to be left alone. And if anyone else chooses to get it, they're like, cool, peace, whatever. It's the other side. And it's not all people who've been jabbed, by the way. I think most people who, a lot of people who have gotten a jab are cool. And they are also against some of the mandates or draconian actions. Despite the fact that they themselves got it, they're against what they're seeing being done by those who are choosing not to get it. It's a select in the group of individuals, not only with the loudest voice, but unfortunately those many of which who are all in power and are have control over what happens and can try to dictate what individual or they're trying to dictate what the mass public is and or is not able to do. And as Bill de Blasio said, they're bringing the stick now, forget the carrot and definitely looking to make life a living hell. And those are the individuals we need to bring it to. This is not a war against the jabbed and the unjabbed. It's a war against those who are seeking power, tyranny, and or oppression of another group of individuals that they just so happen to disagree with. And I find it funny, they preach diversity, um, but it really is just diversity of skin color and the appearance of religious diversity when really they don't want diversity at all, at least not ideologically, not intellectually, not social and or politically. Um, but that's my video. I, again, I just definitely think it's time for us to really unite, stand firm, and just make sure we arm ourselves, continue to arm ourselves with the facts and numbers. This is Bruce the Balls. Again, don't forget to like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel and smash on that notification bell if you do choose to do so. I'm out. Peace.